Hey guys, it's your friend of the neighborhood, fun with AJ here again today. And today I'm opening my February uh, Watch Gang Black subscription box. I did upgrade from January being regular to February being black because I realized regular never gets automatic watches and I really wanted an automatic watch. I, I didn't have one up until recently. Spoiler, I did buy one outside of Watch Gang, but I'm hoping that's what I get with the black one. I did open the box yesterday, but I didn't unbox the whole thing. And I'll show you why. So, I just cut open this plastic here. So first thing we got is these. Watch King February card for black. And then this, I did see yesterday and I was disappointed. Well, I'm not disappointed about it. I was kind of shocked. I used to do uh, Trendy Butler review videos, and I was uh, not sponsored by them, but sent s sample boxes to review. So I do find it interesting that now they're a partner of Watch Gang, from what it seems like, or you get a discount from them. May just be advertising, or I hope they're not the same people. Um, I mean, Trendy but Butler wasn't bad at all to me, but... I feel like like they do MVMT movement watches rather than stylish watches like uh, Watch Gang. So this is as far as I got yesterday, and that's why I stopped. Plus I wanted to do a video and it was dark, so it's lighter now. Um, so just from this box, I think I know what this is brand wise. I don't know what the watch is, and I do know what it is. So that case, this is a... I know some people have issues with pronouncing this, like myself. Uh, Andrew from My Watch Addiction, he kind of taught me how to pronounce this brand. It's Tu Rula, I believe. Tu Rula. Sorry, that's my cat right there with her butt in my face. Um, tu Rula. I've seen this case before. Everybody I know of in Watch Gang got this last uh, month for January for black. Let's see if it's the same one. Everyone got uh, them with colored strips on them. Colored um, bars on the dials. There we go. Instruction manual here, I'm assuming. Yes. Parts in English. Part is in German. Turula. Little foam padding. There she is. There you go. I love the blue uh, indicators on the dial, hour indicators. I love the blue hands. Doesn't look like the time is set. Um, so I'll need to set the time. But that's normal. I'm assuming this is automatic. It's made in Germany. Let's see. Oh, we've got a display back. This is my first watch with a display back guys look here wow um, give me a second I'm gonna see what movement this uh, watch has okay guys I'm back I checked the movement from I couldn't find this exact watch online but I could find similar ones on their site um, it's called the Tarula 1892 I believe um, and it uses the Myota, or Mayota, yeah, I think it's Miyota or Myota, uh, movement, which is a Japanese movement, and it uses the, I think it's 8215 movement? I could be wrong. And I only know the movement because this is my first automatic watch here, um, and it uses the same exact movement. I bought this uh, like a week ago, guys. I'll do a video of this and why I got it, if you guys can figure out what homage it is. But yeah, this is my first kind of decorated, it's a little decorated. You can see a little striping here, like pin striping. Uh, not on the weight, but the actual back casing. You can see the heart of the watch moving. I, I know this movement does offer a manual one, so I might try to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a solid movement. This watch I have on now, I'll tell you about the accuracy later, but it, it's pretty accurate. Um, it's a thick stainless steel case. I like the chain link 
uh, bracelet. However, I was just feeling it and something grabbed me. So I think it's not as even or polished. Yeah, right here there's like a unpolished area. I don't think it's as quality as it should. Um, this buckle here, pretty quality. Let's see if it pops up. Yeah, it does pop up. I do not know how to adjust this type of bracelet, so forgive me because I'm going to be here a while trying to fit this. I don't think it fits my wrist. And let's see, let's try this one. I boy on the right wrist. Yeah, I'm gonna need to adjust it. Look at that that length, guys. So there it is. Um, I did look online when I looked at the movement. This watch ranges from about 399 euros so 399 euros what it says on amazon uk to about it says like 600 on amazon or not amazon on two rulos site to 700 600 euros i think in reality it's worth maybe 150 200 dollars but i do think it's worth the 99 dollar watch gang black um subscription fee it's not 100% my style. I do prefer leather bands to stainless steel, but I feel like this is more money, worth your money, the stainless steel band. Um, this isn't the most pliable. This is the furthest you can bend it, which is a little weird to me. I think it's a little cheap. But once again, I could be wrong here. It is a little cheap. If you guys can see the wrapping, feels looks kind of cheap. Um, but the movement on this watch is impressive to me. The case back. Um, I did also look, this is sapphire glass, and they claim that this is also sapphire glass. I can't really tell, to be honest. Um, the watch, oh, the reference number on this watch, by the way, is 21042, if you guys can see that right there. All stainless steel, 100 meter water resistance, sapphire crystal, made in Germany. Not bad. I'm happy with this. I think I got my money's worth. Um, do I think this movement warrants me sticking with Watch Gang Black? Or their subscription another month? I'm not sure. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments below. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these unboxings. But if you think I should stick with Watch Gang Black, if I should downgrade the regular, or if I should give them up altogether. Um... Personally, I don't have that much extra money, so this was a luxury for me, not a necessity. But I do like this watch. Um, it's not 100% my style. My number one preference on their site is leather. So, that's kind of a miss. But that being said, like I said, I think stainless steel chain link bracelets are more quality. So, until next time, guys, please like or subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to get the video quality of these videos better. Um, until then... I, I still recommend someone, uh, well, two people, two channels on uh, YouTube that do better unboxing of watches than me. And that is Andrew at My Watch, watch Addiction. My Watch Addiction. And uh, the second one is, I don't know his name, but he, it's Watchin' is his YouTube channel. These guys in tandem are my favorite YouTube unboxing uh, channels for Watch Gang. So give them... A like or a watch or if you give them a chance on one of their videos I, I'm pretty sure you won't be um, unimpressed I, I am very impressed with both of their videos so give it a check out until next time guys I hope you enjoyed this video it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ okay guys it's uh, AJ here again I wanted to tune back in because I got to wear this for about a day because I got it last night and one thing I wanted to mention is that that case back there with the weight it's actually smudged on the inside, on the stainless steel. Uh, so it, it tells me that the quality of the watches by this brand are not the best by any means. Uh, the attention to detail is not there. Another thing I noticed, and I'm just showing you the stock footage I made, but uh, on the actual dial, the hour indicators, uh, they're painted, or they're kind of like glued on badly. And also the uh, sub-dials. There's like a 24-hour sub-dial, and there is a second sub-dial. Dial. And the rounded edges are completely off.